What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So for today's uh, episode is actually uh, based on a comment by a few uh, asking on how do we control or how, we, how do we set the output for our PDF file. Uh, specifically mentioning here is the size of the QR code and of course uh, on uh, regarding that matter is how do we uh, sort of produce a bulk uh, QR code uh, generation means uh, the person wants to print out a QR code in PDF but for multiple products or items so of course uh, this is going to be a slight detailed video on it so it's the reason why is I don't want uh, any of you to miss out certain steps that's very important so we go very detailed but as to what I know uh, by following this uh, instruction you will get the desired output that you want so of course with that being said without further ado let's check it out all right guys so based on the question is we want to do the batch printing of our QR codes and one specific requirement that is needed is to have the QR code to be in two centimeters so first things first we want to generate the QR code to be two centimeters itself so as you can see normally uh, based on my previous um, video we did a QR code generation using quickchart.io and this is the sort of um, expression that I use by encoding the URL of the product ID so that whenever the QR code generates, it generates based on the product ID that I have in my products table However, there is a modification that I did for the alternative version, which is the 2 centimeters version. And this is the slight modification that I did. It's very similar to the original QR code uh, quickchart IO expression. It's just that I've added the size to be in 75. So in this case, 75 uh, pixels would be as near to 2 centimeters. So again, this is depending on the API that you're using. Some APIs would have different ways of determining the size of the image that has been produced. Uh, whether it is a chart or QR code. But for a quick chart, it's using this sort of format. So... I'm putting 75 to sort of emulate the 2 centimeters uh, requirement. So, now moving on to the PDF itself. Okay, so uh, uh, based on my previous video, when there is an update happen at the products table, uh, the QR, uh, the PDF would generate the the QR codes in the PDF format but I have prepared some samples of how it will look like using the normal print the basic and advanced which we will cover one by one so normally what would happen is if you were to create a PDF automation for your case well, in my case uh, from the products table okay uh, I want to create, let's say, a basic PDF. When I, what I mean to say basic is when you create the template for your document, it will basically, what it does is it will use all the columns available for that particular uh, table and chunk it all in one template. So... This is how it looks like. So, of course, we have the product ID, the name, the quantity, the price, QR code, and what so what not. And, of course, we have the QR codes or tags available as well. 
normally, if I were to make a change in the table, let's say let's make one change right away. Let's put Cobra one line irons 2024. And the change happened. Okay. Okay, the default print will look something like this. Okay. So basically it prints out every single detail based on the table structure. But let's just say I want to make a printables using the information. Okay. So obviously I would not want to use the normal size QR code. I want to use uh, two centimeters uh, QR code and with their respective um, format and all that. Okay. So going back to the settings in automation. So the batch expression that I did for my uh, PDF template looks something like this. Okay, I'll just zoom in for now. So we have the start and of course we want to select the product ID from the products table. Uh, when I say true means it's basically all available in the table and it will place itself in this table uh, columns that I've prepared. So this 2CM is basically where the QR code would be and the product ID and item name will be in this one column. Okay. And it ends just like that. So when the generation happens, it will look something like this. Okay. All right. So that's more to, uh, that's much more about it but how that is however uh, maybe we want to enhance slightly on the printable uh, we want to make sure it's not waste using so much resources in this case we don't want to use so many papers to print out because uh, as you can see there's a white space to the right of this template where we can actually put another set of QR codes here so that we can sort of optimize the use of paper or in your case, since you are printing this on a glossy material or sticker material, we want to reduce that as well. So I want to put another set of data here. So in my settings for, I call it the advanced batch. Okay. The template that I'm looking at right now will look something like this. Okay. Now, don't worry. It's very similar to the previous template. It says that I've, I took the liberty to add two tables. But now and then you will realize there is the alternate one and alternate two. Okay. Means in the left side of this table, would print the alternate one products and on the right side will print the alternate two products okay um, this is basically adding the break function so that we want to add uh, all of the products respectively according to their so-called tag number means to say all products with alternate one will be listed down in the left side and all products with alternate two tag will be printed on the right side. And how do I do that is in products table, I've added a tag uh, virtual column. Okay. And as you can see here, sorry, all of the products that I have in the table have their respective tags. First one is alternate two, one, two, one. And the list goes on and on. And how I did that is by using this expression. Okay, so the modulo uh, expression by identifying each product according to their row number. And of course, the letter will be in alternate 2 if the alternate 1 exists on the previous row. 
So it's just an alternate tag so that we can sort of distribute the products evenly in our PDF template. Okay. So if you were to print that out in, say, a PDF file, it will actually look something like this. Okay. So it's the same amount of product, but it's unique uh, based on the tags. Say, for example, here on the left side, is all the products that has been tagged with alternate one okay uh, let me go back here okay sorry so the alternate one tag products will be on the left side and alternate two products will be on the right side so just imagine if you have hundreds of uh, products or batch that you want, you know, you want to print you would definitely use half of the amount of paper or material so that it would save you costs and it's environmental friendly, I guess. So this is one of the ways, okay? But to answer the question again on how to make sure this is formatted correctly, of course, we have to keep an eye on the measurement itself, okay? So as you can see at the ribbon area here, I have a ruler. And my ruler is in centimeters. So if yours is not in centimeters, uh, it's in inches or any other measurements, you may want to change your um, settings. And to do that is to go to your account settings okay and of course in your personal info okay under your google account settings in your personal info you want to make sure you're selecting the english united kingdom language so that it displays the uh, measurements in centimeters okay and of course don't forget to go to your page setup here and you can make the uh, settings since now it's in centimeters so you can do your margins for your table or for your page sorry and you can set the size and all that to make sure it fits in right well okay and as you're doing your uh, template you make sure you follow the guides or ruler above to make sure you're following the exact number or amount of size that you need for your QR code or any other templates that you want to do for your PDF so this is one of the ways that you may want to follow okay so you may want to give this a try and do let me know what else you want to see or let me know if this works well for you if you're having any troubles, do let me know. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you were to print this out, uh, let me just show you. This would be the format. Well, I guess it should be approximately six centimeters. I mean, if I were to just do a very uh, rough calculation, but of course, uh, please do your own uh, adjustment, okay? Uh, what I did may or may not be exactly the uh, exact 6 centimeters and 2 centimeters for your QR code. But you get the idea. Uh, you have to experiment a few times just to get the exact dimension. But keep on trying. And as long as you follow uh, a certain set of uh, way of doing it, you should be fine. So, of course, do let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below. And till the next time, take care. Bye-bye.